guys and welcome to my channel in our previous video we looked at what a java class is and we said it is a design used to specify the attributes and behaviors of an object today we are going to focus on the attributes what are attributes in java attributes is the state characterizing an object at a particular point in time these states are stored in fields or variables let me take an example if my object is a car in Java, it's going to have attributes such as the car color, the number of wheels, the number of seats, the number of doors, and any other thing you can think about right now characterizing the car. Let me open Notepad and show you how we declare attributes in Java. To define the attributes of a car object, I'm going to go to my Notepad++, which is right here on my desktop, and I'm going to double click on that. Okay, it opens up and right here I'm going to create a class and inside that class I'm going to define the attributes of the car object. To define a class we have, I've created a car class. I'll just like to mention this before I continue. When you give a name to your class, it should always start with a capital letter. The previous videos I did, I made a mistake by giving names to my classes, which began with small letters. It was actually a mistake and I'm sorry about that. Now that we have defined our class, we can go ahead and define the attributes of this class. And I said the attributes can be things like... I've actually defined three attributes for my car. It has a color, it has number of wheels and it has number of seats. So we have done two things. We have created a class and we have defined the attributes of an object. When I declare the attributes of my car object, I made use of words such as integers, string, and you might be wondering why I was using those words. Those are known as variable types in Java and in the next video, we are going to look at that. Thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye.